If your best sellers rank disappears, that's a problem. I'm gonna talk about how to solve that and what you need to do if your, your BSR or sales rank disappears. My name is Stephen Pope and I am my Amazon guy. This podcast is sponsored by Alpha Raven House. If you wanna triple your daily sales by ranking your product to page one at 10% of the usual cost and getting verified reviews along the way, they're your solution. Check them out at alpharavenhouse.com. All right, so I'm gonna show you on the back end of Seller Central. Here you can see in this column uh, that the business ranking is not present. And so uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about or don't know how to view this sales rank column right here in the middle where my cursor is, uh, you go over to preferences and select the ranking checkbox. Check that there and then head back and you'll be able to see it. And if yours is blank or zero or doesn't have anything, it's usually because of one of two reasons. Number one, you haven't sold the product yet and it doesn't have any ranking. And that's not a problem in the sense of a technical issue. It just means you need to get some sales. Um, but if it's had a sale and it doesn't have a ranking, number one cause is generally because the category ID has either not been set or has vanished. So if you go hit edit on the product, you can check this out. Most categories have the category uh, location in one of two locations. Uh, the first is vital info, and you can see here category item type, okay? Now in this particular instance, it's currently set. And, and so the other section you can go to get it is in the more details, and you just do just type in control F and type in cat, and see if you can find it. And since it's already in the uh, vital info on this particular product, it's good to go. Now, <clears throat> if you come to this location and your category item type is blank, simply hit edit and go find the category that fits the product and set it. So if this is a wall uh, plate, which is good for visual uh, impairment issues, you simply come in here and find the correct outlet uh, wall plate and select it. So I'm not making a change here because it's already in place, it's good to go. And nonetheless, the sales rank is still blank. So the next step, if this happens to you, is to go ahead and file a ticket. So in the top right, get help. You're gonna go into this section, hit selling on Amazon. And then you're gonna find, uh, generally speaking, it's gonna be a product or listing issue and you're not going to use fix a product issue though because that's only used for like fixing a title or image or, or whatnot. So instead you want to select uh, like inventory file upload issue. This will get it to the catalog team. Even though this is not an inventory file upload issue, obviously. All right, so uh, in the contact reason, something along the lines of BSR missing, right? Okay, so then uh, hi, my below product has its BSR or uh, ranking missing, please investigate and let me know how to fix or refresh on your end, right? Okay, we're gonna go grab that ASIN in question and then we're gonna put that into the ticket as well. All right, so at that point, I would recommend just submitting it as an email ticket. Uh, the phone support on most Amazon seller issues are pretty useless. The only exception to this is some catalog issues, parentage, um, or getting detail page changes faster than normal. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, this is a really important issue because if you were to go type in uh, the product's name, right, and in this instance, we show up, which is good, but if you type in your product name and you don't show up, chances are it's because your category ID is not set correctly, right? So like, let's, let's just test this out a little bit further. I'm gonna change the uh, tools in home and I'm gonna go to all departments, okay? I'm gonna type in the same thing just to see if it shows up and it does, which is good, right? But if you were showing up uh, in not all locations, right? Not showing in the all section or not showing in a specific dropdown on that that you're supposed to and you type in your product name, that's a ticketable issue, or you need to set your category ID like I showed you in this video. There's all kinds of glitches that happen on Amazon, data issues, catalog issues. It's a very frustrating whack-a-mole situation. 
Um, and often, if you haven't seen an issue before, uh, you're going to need to get help. And, and so one or two solutions, just file lots of tickets and try and work with seller support and kind of grind it out yourself until you figure it out. Or option two, go over to myamazonguy.com and contact us today and we can help you with any catalog issue that you have. We have a team of catalog specialists. We even specialize in reinstating listings. So if you've got a listing that gets taken down, you need to get reinstated. We have a service for that, 500 bucks. We will file tickets and support and talk to Amazon on your behalf to take everything from copyright, medical, listing, condition issues, restrictions, brand takedowns, you name it. So hopefully this is helpful. Feel free to add any comments to this video. If you have any other questions, we'll happily answer them and contact us if you need to hire a consultant. All right, thanks for watching.